Right, welcome to the first demo session, hands-on session. If you're really new to Helm Charts and really want to get started uh, and would like to kickstart from the day one how you deploy your infrastructure objects in Kubernetes cluster, we're going to get started from right from day zero where we expect you don't know anything about Helm Chart. And in this session, we're going to start off with creating a chart uh, and this chart would dev would deploy a hello world application onto our local uh, Kubernetes cluster. All right. So the first thing first, how do you structure your directory? If you would like to uh, create a new Kubernetes manifest or you want to migrate your existing one uh, via Helm chart. So how do you do? How do you start writing your Helm chart? I've already created a folder Helm wherein I would like to probably say MKDIR hello world so this is gonna just create a folder um, mkdr hello world so what I want is the first thing which goes is charts.yaml all right uh, this session is purely about how to create a structure into helm and nothing else all right so we're not gonna start right away creating uh, charts and writing charts and writing configuration this is purely uh, based on how you could create a helm directory for a brand new project wherein you want to use helm to deploy uh, your objects into kubernetes cluster so we're going to start writing the charts file first charts.yaml this is a yaml file containing information about the chart all right so the chart is created the second file would be values.yaml values.yaml is the file where default configuration value of your charts would be present over here and from here the values will be called by kubernetes objects could be service deployment could be anything all right and then inside there would be a template now this template directory would actually be your your directory which contains all the kubernetes manifest files now this could be a uh, probably could be a pod file, all right? So there could be a pod.yaml, uh, could be a deployment.yaml, right? Dot yaml could be services.yaml. So any of the Kubernetes object, cron jobs, stateful set, services, all of that, all right? So once you're done done with that, uh, you could also create a notes.txt. So I'm just gonna create a notes dot txt and then you could have something called as helper file also inside your template so you could create something like as helpers dot template tpl what it does is it keeps only the configuration which is common for your entire Kubernetes manifest. Let's suppose set of labels or tags which is going to be common across all the pods, all the deployments. So you could define all of that configuration in helper.tpl and that can be called by the Kubernetes object. All right, so template files, template folders includes all the helpers, nodes.txt, all the Kubernetes objects which is deployment, services, and then outside it you've got your charts.yaml you've got your values.yaml all right that's about it and you could also have a helm ignore just like get ignore file so you could have helm ignore which could just only include the files uh, which you don't want to push it to the source code repository all right so this is how the structure look like this is the master template or the structure which should be followed by all the project regardless of anything which you want to deploy you want to deploy an nginx you want to deploy an apache server you want to deploy mysql you would like to deploy uh, elastic search for every workload the structure going to be remain same more or less i hope this was informative first thing first go ahead and create this structure just copy the structure and create it on your local system as well in the next session we're going to start writing our helm chart one by one again it's going to be a very simple hello world program which we're going to deploy on our local kubernetes cluster 
I hope this was informative. I will see you in a while. Thank you.